Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is a game that has been um, <laughs> pushed quite far down the pile, unfortunately. Um, I am a huge Halo fan, as many people do know. And, um, well, actually, Halo is my joint favourite franchise of all time, paired with Resident Evil. So, um, I played the original Halo Wars way back when it came out on the 360, and I really liked it, because, of course, uh, Halo originally was meant to be a strategy game for the Mac. Uh, after that, it was changed into a third-person shooter for the Mac, and then Microsoft bought it for the... Uh, unknown console xbox or something and they wanted it changed into a first person shooter to be a killer app the rest is fucking history son so halo wars is a very interesting offshoot um it's kind of interesting to me that halo wars is an offshoot when it was meant to be the sole game but hey whatever um very happy that we got halo wars 2 because the first halo wars i believe didn't do anywhere near the numbers of um halo the FPS series because I mean you know putting a, a RTS game solely on a console seems like a fucking great idea from the start but you know it didn't sell overly well shocked right uh, eventually we did get it on the PC which is where it should have been day one really and lo and behold Halo 2 Halo Wars 2 uh, it's not made by Ensemble anymore unfortunately because microsoft shuttered the company uh it was actually picked up by 343 who is the sole producer of halo games these days and i know 343 get a lot of a lot of hate but i don't think they've done a terrible job halo 5 is well halo 5 is what it is i've played it obviously and i enjoyed it for what it was um I didn't care too much for the new Spartans, but I really enjoyed Blue Team. Um, because Blue Team, it's the first time we ever actually got to play as Blue Team, uh, right? In the actual games, which is weird because if you read the lore and the books, Master Chief's team is Blue Team. Um, and, you know, we, we're we not going to go too heavy into the lore right now. But uh, anyway, so Halo Wars 2 is set 28 years after... Uh, the events of Halo Wars 1, which is quite interesting. So, Halo Wars 1 was right at the beginning of the Human Covenant War, uh, where Harvest had essentially been lost and they were still battling for it. And Halo Wars 2 is after the Human Covenant War. Now, obviously, the crew of the Spirit of Fire don't know anything about this, which is a really interesting um, take. And they find themselves hovering over this new arc installation, which is interesting. And what I like about Halo Wars is the crew you're playing as know nothing about any of this new stuff. And you're using a lot of old technology and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's get into it. We're going to go new campaign. Now, I'm going to play on... Oh, I save. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to play as normal. I have been playing this uh, on Heroic. I've played the first four levels, and it's not too bad. The only problem with it is the enemies have humongous HP buffs. And there was <laughs> a specific thing that happens, I think, on the second mission, which made me decide to LP it on normal. Um, but Heroic is definitely doable. It just takes... A long time uh, I'm still very much new to this version of the game as well also the controls for PC are anus I've had to remap the controls quite significantly uh, to zoom in and out on an RTS game on the PC mouse wheel right nope page up and page down to zoom in and out yeah yeah I, I don't get it don't understand um, so I've remapped that to CUNY because you can't remap it to the mouse wheel. Again, I assume they forgot they were developing for PC. I'm not sure. Um, WASD moves you around, stuff like that. It's it's standard, but odd. Also, you hold down Alt to 
rotate the map, which is very bizarre. There's just a lot of strange things with this game, but difficulty is um, is an odd one, which I will explain as we go into the game. I'm not sure why the taskbar has come up there. Want me to get down there? Immediately, of course. Good morning to you too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our astro navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. Didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago, our slip space drive is gone. However, we got here it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena. But we do have a rough location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Good morning, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Roger that, yeah. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, unfortunately, we no longer have Serena, who Professor was Anders, the AI in the first game. The source of that signal. 
It wasn't easy, but I've narrowed it down to a small sector and our recon teams are investigating now. I've cleared up the scans a bit and it looks like there's a UNSC outpost or research station, but it's heavily damaged. It doesn't look good, but the Spartans will handle it. They always do. It would be mm -hmm. a lot faster if you let me go down with them, Captain. Without Serena here, I need you on the ship, Professor. Besides, we don't know what's waiting for us down there. Jerome, get Red Team to the Professor's coordinates, ASAP. I want you to make first contact with whoever's sending that signal. Understood, sir. We'll find them. So, we've got three Spartans aboard Spirit of Fire. We've got uh, Jerome092, Alice130, and Douglas042, I believe. They're Spartan 2s, so they're the best of the best. Um, which is good, because <laughs> folks need heroes, Chief. Right, so no Serena. Uh, obviously, smart AIs only live for seven years in the Halo universe, and they have to be terminated after that, because otherwise they go, well, a little bit crazy. Which puts us at a huge disadvantage, because every ship in uh, the Halo universe needs an AI, because it's pretty hard to run one of those things, uh, just with human abilities. So, anyway, let's uh, hit Planetfall. Let's see what's going on around here. Stand by for drop, red team. Looking forward to shaking off some cobwebs, sir. Feels good to have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Alice is right. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Keep your eyes out for trouble. Mm. Ready to Fair go. play. So we could zoom in and out. I wish we could zoom in a little, zoom out a little bit more than we actually can. But you know, it is what it is. There's Recon lots of bonus right um, objectives in this game as well. Uh, we don't actually have any here. Some of them are quite hard to get on the harder difficulties, uh, which I'll explain. There is one on this level for getting the warthog back to base with 50% or less damage. Now, on the harder difficulties on Heroic and Legendary, that seems to be... It's just luck. I had to redo this level so many times to actually, um, you know, make that happen. But on Normal, it seems to be kind of possible. But we're not going for points. We're not going for, you know, record time, stuff like that. We're just going to enjoy the game. to clear a path for you when you're ready. I don't know what they were defending against, but there's some heavy duty barricades. Mm-hmm. Everybody get clear. Now the music in this game is excellent as well. Alright, let's get this done. On the way. On my way. You've collected Phoenix logs. No. These were made in a hurry. They must have been desperate. Why wouldn't they have to Something is going on. They must have expected to be a target for the Covenant. Unless the Covenant aren't a thing anymore. At least not a hostile thing, anyway. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's keep going. Good thing we've still got these hogs. The hog still sounds fantastic as well. These are research buildings, no defenses. The people here weren't soldiers. They were scientists. Hmm. Get it going. I see plasma burns. Lots of them. Looks like Covenant work. There's lots of little chatter as well when you get close to um, friendly soldiers and you can hear them talking and saying things. The detail in this game is fantastic. It really is. Um, it's a pretty solid campaign, to be honest. Making my way. More plasma burns. They didn't leave much standing. Whoever it was, it looks like they're long gone. We'll know more when we get to the source of that signal. Now let's go. Zero nine two reporting, sir. On the way. On the move. So Jerome zero nine two is actually the leader of Red Team. On my way. What's a Nightingale doing here? Do we have wounded? Nightingale there is the medvac vehicle. I'm there. Something's still burning. This is fresh. It's one of our recon teams, sir. We 
found them like this when we arrived. Didn't see what hit him. Weird. I am going to do one thing. Performances, because I'm recording this with ABS. Um, let's have V-Sync on. Can we not just, like, have standard V-Sync on, please? All right, let's try that. I usually play this in 120 FPS. Um, I'm hoping I can lock it to 60 for recording purposes. No, that's locking us to 40 frames a second. Well, that's fucking shit. Who the fuck plays at 40 FPS? Um, oh, that feels disgusting. All right. Do you think interval two? Apparently that's still... All right, I'll fiddle with that off camera then. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Obviously, recording with OBS is going to lock us to... Um, yeah, let's just turn that off then. There's no option to lock the frame rate. Really? Uh, all right, I'm going to have to look this up. I might have to force v-sync on somehow because yeah we're running at a weird frame rate i mean it shouldn't affect the video but it's gonna it just feels weird right okay let's go see what we're dealing with yeah oh i think we're gonna get action alice don't you worry about that our recon team scouted out this portal that will take you down to that signal i've ordered the rest of our forces to stay back and protect your exit while you investigate yes sir all right, let's go. Good old portals, eh? What's Halo about portals? What we can do. Yeah, well, let's not be too confident, Jerome. We don't know what we're up against. Professor, we found some more portals. There's something strange about them. Odd. They look like they've been modified, and those machines attached to them aren't UNSC tech. Hmm. Keep an eye out for any more of them. Make my way. Get it going. Henry Lamb Research Outpost. Spirit of Fire, we're outside. Base looks clear from out here. Let's see who's been calling. Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No, but listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. Red Team, we have a 
Spartan casualty. Hunt them down. Immediate evac requested. Find out where they came from. Douglas, stay with me. And bring me back anything. Douglas! Useful. Right, let's get the fuck out of here because things have gone south pretty freaking quickly. Right, let's go. Let's go. Now, you can actually ram enemies with the hog, but that causes damage, so... No, 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 we're not lucky, we're Spartans. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's always portals. Ooh, just made it with 50% health. Looks like we have another AI. That's going to be useful. Going to be interesting to see what she has to say. Now, interesting uh, bit of law there when you see the brute crush um, Douglas's helmet. Uh, and he says, as I expected, nothing but a man. Throughout the Human Covenant War, Spartans were an unknown to the Covenant. Um, Spartans were assumed to be these invincible demons that uh, humanity had just created with magic. Uh, and that's the only thing during the war that the, the Covenant actually feared about humanity was the Spartans. And um, even to the point where they assumed that if a Spartan was killed, humanity would somehow resurrect him and redeploy him or her into combat. They were so feared. But... Uh, yeah, so I see even after the war that that legendary Spartan status still um, holds true, which is cool. Anyway, let's continue. Alice is MIA. She'll stay silent down there until she has a good shot at getting back to us. Sir? Isabel, this is Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter. Captain of the Spirit of Fire. You're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? Isabel, report. <laughs> Sir. Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The Brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. During the 
war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. No never returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time. Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. raided Covenant resources, cutting a swath across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us, but Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. That's what you're up against. And all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her? We need to run as far and as fast as we can. We are just one ship. And an old one at that. But here we are, 30 years past what anyone could ask of us. Our war is gone. The lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. And now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us, battle, after battle, fighting side by side, together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. And that is always worth fighting for. If we don't stop Atriox now, we leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So no, Isabel, we won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. Captain, Hell. I appreciate a good rousing speech as much as the next AI, but Atriox has had months to set up his forces on the Ark. 
Even if we could find him, attacking him head on would be suicide. That's why we have to fight smart by hitting Atriox's chain of command first. Isabel, you know the banished and their operations here. Where do we start? Decimus. He's one of Atriox's chief lieutenants and the one who led the attack on my outpost. He oversees a banished salvage operation near the outpost. We need to hit the banished with a surprise attack to put them on their back foot, then move south and establish an HQ. Once we have a base, we can begin our attack on Decimus. Captain, Isabel said the portal her outpost was using to contact Earth closed without warning. Once we start this fight, we have no way of calling for help if we need it. That's what you'll be working on, Professor. I need you to find us a way to get word back home. In the meantime, it's up to us to hold the line here. Let's show them what the spirit of fire can do. Mm hmm. Now, from what I can understand with Halo Infinite, um, it actually starts as this game ends, as far as I know. So this game is tightly integrated into Infinite, which is cool. Um, right, I'm going to leave this one because we're actually half we're in half an hour already. So that set the game up quite nicely, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Spirit of Fire versus the Banished Army. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not <laughs> not so sure about that. But hey, I guess we've got three Spartans on board. Anything's possible. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.